Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I had already uploaded the Aquarius sign and the Pisces sign, and for some reason, just like last month, the audio just keeps going out and off and on. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I have been getting a lot of uh, messages from you guys letting me know or asking me like what the hell is going on. So I definitely didn't want to make you guys feel like um, like I'm not hearing, you know, the messages or that I'm not. I'm just trying to make you guys feel like I'm giving you the same type of quality as I do all other signs so that's the reason why I decided to redo the video it's the same cards the same message uh, just hopefully with a better audio I hope you guys appreciate that anyways if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe comment like share my videos I truly appreciate it and if you're interested in private consultations look at the description box below for those of you guys that would like to support my channel uh, I have a patron picture uh, not picture, sorry, Patreon uh, page that you can um, visit and show some support. Anyways, let's get into this reading. Like I said, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So you guys have the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of anxiety going on with you guys in regards to relationships at the present time. Uh, it could be the fact that at the present, you guys are thinking very heavily about relationships and wanting to take it to the next level. Uh, you guys have the Three of Cups, the Sun card, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and your partner has the Six of uh, Swords, the World card, the King of Cups, and the Strength card. Now, again, like I said, you guys are definitely, um, there are a lot of families involved here in this relationship. So it may be the fact that your partner is uh, very close to their family members. Uh, it could be that they are uh extremely close with their family members and perhaps for some of you guys that may become an issue or it may have been an issue of the past where you guys didn't get along with someone it could have been a brother it could have been a sister um that type of scenario um and again you have the sun card so the sun cards definitely you know you guys are definitely feeling the blessing of this relationship or uh the desire the hope uh, for the relationship to get better. Uh, the sun is definitely representation of blessings coming your way. They have yet to manifest, meaning they haven't manifested as of yet, but they are very much close right around the corner, basically, for you guys. I feel that for a lot of Aquarians, um, the month or the mid-month of August going into September, a lot of you guys are going to be either tying the knot getting married or uh, taking it to the next level. So if you guys are not in a committed relationship, this could represent you guys stepping it, uh, stepping up and taking it to the next level and making a commitment. Or again, like I said, marriage on the horizon. But I feel that for a lot of you guys, you guys have the eight of swords here. So there's a feeling of stuckness. And I feel that this has to do with residue energy from past relationships. So for those of you guys that currently have kids from other marriages or other relationships and that are now emotionally invested in re, uh, in a relationship with a person that you're wanting to see, uh, basically, you know, making the decision if you guys should make it uh, a commitment or take it to the next level. Again, like I said, marriage, uh, I feel that the children or the children you may have are playing a very important role at the present time. Meaning maybe for some of you Aquarians in the past, uh, you kind of kept, you know, your family ties in regards to your children, uh, not so exposed to your partner. You wanted to see if things could get uh, more serious. And it seems like now is the time uh, because obviously things have gone a little bit uh, serious now. So now you're trying to see how you could integrate your children or this could be their children as well into the relationship and being exposed to them or you being exposed to the children if your partner is the one that has children. So again, like I said, um, it seems like there's anxiety. I mean, this eight, nine of swords and this eight of swords, I know a lot of Aquarians like their freedom. For some of you guys, maybe you guys have been dating for quite a while now, like I said, um, and really trying the best you can not to uh, 
uh, make it so serious or make it so committed. But it seems like destiny has taken you there. And now it's time to make decision. And it seems like you're dreading it. And it probably has to do with your fear of commitment. Uh, again, like I said, having to do with residue energy from the past, maybe your past experiences weren't that great. Um, perhaps you felt like you were bounded, like you were stuck like you weren't able to just pick up and go wherever you wanted, like you've been used to. Uh, you know, for some of you guys, maybe you guys have been single for nine months, um, dating, I mean, for nine months, or it could represent very well nine years since you've taken a serious relationship. So again, there's anxiety behind that. Now, anyways, moving on to your partner's cards. They have the Six of Swords here. And the Six of Swords is definitely talking about moving away or moving towards calmer waters. Um, to me, this is signifying that they are either thinking long term, like it's time for you to take it to the next level. And if you don't, I have no problem walking away or moving forward without you. And the reason I say that is because they have the world card and the world card can very well represent um, the ending cycle. So this is the ending of what you've known so far of the relationship and taking it to either the next level or completely ending the relationship. Now they have the King of Cups here. So you may be dealing with the water sign Aquarius. A water sign would be a Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer. Uh, for some of you guys, you guys may also be dealing with a Leo or another fire sign, which would be um, an Aries, a Sagittarius or a Leo, like I said. So anyways, this King of Cups, I feel that um, it could be a representation of them going to an older male. It could be father figure. It could be grandfather type of energy. It's definitely a father energy. And it's like them going to them and trying to get clarity or trying to get a different perspective or different opinion in reference to your relationship with them. It's kind of like... Um, the guide that's the person they're going to for for guidance at the present time again they do have the strength card here so like i said um the strength card is definitely being confident in themselves and if they see that you've you're taking too long to take to take it to the next level again like i said or to commit to them they may you know have an impulse to just call it quits and walk away and it'll be very swiftly. It'll it'll come very quickly like you weren't expecting that. So for those of you guys that are definitely looking for commitment, now is the time to do so as I do feel that these two cards are just a symbology or representation of your anxieties that have to do with your inner fears. And that's something you have to address. That's something you have to uh, face basically. Uh, you know, the worst thing that could happen when facing our fears is you either learn to dominate your fears and use them, uh, use them, you know, to help you or you continuously keep running away from commitment and never actually get to the point of finding out how good something could have been for you guys. OK, now for some of you guys that are currently single and have been talking to someone again, like I said, it could be a fire sign or it could be a water sign. Uh, just be very careful and mindful not to be dealing with the person that is married as the world card definitely represents uh, marriage when it comes to dating. OK, so try the best you can to pretty much, uh, you know, just be careful uh, if the person that you're talking to has been or only responds to you or answers you or calls you at odd hours throughout the day and then late at in the evening they don't really communicate uh those are red flags definitely so try the best you can again like i said because i feel that there's already doubt there in regards to this relationship it's like um you know the the three is definitely a three type of energy for those and this is for those of you that are single have been single for a while okay uh the three is definitely a third party type of energy with the sun uh, the sun can also be a representation of shedding light towards a marriage or a union. OK, because the four of wands is here and then you have the eight of swords. So it's like feeling tied, feeling like you don't have clarity or you don't know what's going on. So again, like I said, just be very careful and, and mindful about that. OK, so there you go, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Share, like, and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. We'll see from each other soon. Okay, bye.